it uh, when sodium is reabsorbed so it will conserve salt in the hot environments it will conserve the body salt in hot environments so this was all about the functions of aldosterone now what happened when there is deficiency of mineralocorticoids so when there is decreased aldosterone obviously sodium is not reabsorbed and sodium chloride lost in the urine when more sodium is lost in the urine along with the water the ecf volume will be decreased ecf volume will be decreased plasma volume will be decreased it will lead to the ecf dehydration ecf dehydration low blood volume which will ultimately lead to the decreased cardiac output and to the circulatory shock circulatory shock and followed by the death so mineralocorticoids they are very essential for life without them a person can die of the circulatory shock and for this reason mineralocorticoids they are said to be the life saving acute life saving portion of the adrenocortical hormones without them a person can die with a uh, by circulatory shock because when sodium is not reabsorbed it will lead to the decrease ecf volume leading to the shock and death also uh, we have studied that aldosterone also affect on the secretion of potassium and told you when there is excess aldosterone it will lead to hypokalemia that is more potassium is excreted but when there is decreased aldosterone it will lead to hyperkalemia ecf potassium will be increased because now there will be no secretion of potassium in the renal tubules so hyperkalemia it causes weakness it it has serious uh, cardiac toxic effects leading to the weakness of the heart contraction as well as the arrhythmia and arrhythmia we all know that it will lead to ultimately it will lead to the heart failure so uh, mineralocorticoids they are very essential for life and without them serious hazards or consequences can occur now uh, what about the regulation of aldosterone how the secretion of aldosterone is reg regulated first of all when there is hyperkalemia that is increased potassium concentration in the ecf it will increase the secretion of aldosterone and in return uh, aldosterone it increases potassium secretion so it will restore the normal potassium the serum potassium to normal level it will restore the serum potassium to normal level and the second important the first two factors are very important in case of aldosterone that is uh, increase ecf potassium and the increase angiotensin 2 in the ecf it also causes aldosterone studied this in detail in when you studied the circulation physiology that when there is low blood volume it will lead to the and renin it uh, cause the conversion of angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1 and then angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2 in the presence of ac angiotensin converting enzyme angiotensin 2 it acts on the adrenal cortex and aldosterone is secreted which cause sodium reabsorption and water reabsorption so there will be the decreased sodium and water excretion reabsorption is more it will lead to the increased ecf volume and increased leading to increased blood volume so these two factors they are very important in case of uh, regulation of aldosterone and the third one is the increased sodium concentration in the ecf it slightly decreases aldosterone secretion and the fourth one is the Uh, adrenocorticotropic hormone acth from the anterior pituitary it also affects on the aldosterone and we will study about acth in the next lecture inshallah okay thank you so much students